So, this is the tutorial how to set up your controller on GTA Online. Uh, a lot of you have actually been asking it like for this for a while now. Like I've noticed in the comments, like how do I get uh, my controller to work? How do I spam and stuff like that on GTA? Because it just doesn't work. Every time I spam from the sticky bomb to home, and it just switches to the fist and it punches the air. So this tutorial is going to fix that today. So if this helps you, leave a like on the video. So let's get straight into it. Right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load up Steam. Um, and go to library <clears throat> and if you've already got GTA 5 installed on uh, Steam it's going to make it a whole bunch easier but if you don't uh, and you have it on Rockstar Game Launcher or Epic Games Launcher like I do you want to go down to the bottom left right here and uh, press add game then add non Steam game and then look for Rockstar Game Launcher or Epic Games Launcher and tick it and then press select program but I'm not going to do that because I've already got it added right here. So once you've got this on here like this, you want to just enter big picture mode. All right. So once you're in big picture mode, uh, all you need to do is now just plug your controller in, the one that you're using. Uh, for the video, I'm going to be using an Xbox controller. So whatever you're using, it doesn't matter. You can use a PS5, PS4, Xbox. But just for the video, I'm going to be using an Xbox one. So what you want to do is now... You just uh, press the menu right here, bottom left, and then go to settings, and then go to controller. And um, in here, make sure enable Steam input for Xbox controllers is enabled. Um, same for PlayStation, if you're not using an Xbox, uh, make sure it's enabled for PlayStation controllers. Um, and once you've done that, uh, you can go back and go to wherever your GTA 5 is installed. Uh, so mine's on Rockstar Game Launcher, as you can see. Um, so in Rockstar Game Launcher you go to this controller icon right here and then go to edit layout um, and then go into buttons as you see buttons right here um, make sure LB like the left bumper make sure that's on tab so originally when you load it up it'll put you on the controller section so scroll along the keyboard and make sure that is on tab key uh, that's basically going to make you spam in game and like spam rockets and stuff so yeah and if you want to play with evo of course um go to any button that you're comfortable with evo and with like because it's not a like you can't manually evo anymore you can't actually like go through the menu and do it anymore because it's been removed uh the last update i think it was so this guy sparrow i'm going to leave his channel in the description for making the method public shout out to him um, but first thing you want to do is go to any button. Uh, I'm going to be E1 with the right stick. So you want to click right stick and you want to make sure that it's binded to this thing under escape right here. Make sure that's binded to that. Okay, so once you've done all of that now, uh, what you want to do is you just press play wherever it is. Make sure you press play with the controller though. So press X or A if you're on Xbox and load up the game. So obviously, right now, I'm just loading up the game. And uh, once it's loaded up, I guess just see if the controller works. So in this menu right here, if you don't know if the controller's working or not, just move along with the D-pad like this to the right, and you'll know that it is working because it is moving from left to right, as you can see. But if it doesn't, your Steam input will not be enabled. So how to fix that is, uh, if you haven't turned off, um, turn controllers off when exiting big picture mode, if you haven't turned that off, just uh, go to power and then exit big picture mode and then your Steam will load back up as normal, like this. And then go to the top left where it says Steam and go to settings and then go to in-game and uh, make sure that enable the Steam overlay while in-game, make sure that is on, make sure that's switched on and then just close out of this and then just press story mode or online or whatever you want to go to. So I want to click story mode. Okay, once you're in GTA Online, um, just do whatever you do on console, I guess. If you use a come from console, just do whatever you do on that. And you'll see, you'll be able to spam with grenades now and do whatever you want. 
So that Ewo macro that I was talking about, um, what you want to do is, uh, once you've got it downloaded, um, you actually need software first to actually run it called Auto Hotkey, which I'm going to be leaving in the description to download. Um, but yeah, once you've got that downloaded, just open up, just open the Ewo right here, and you'll see that it's open down here in the little tree. So once that's opened, uh, just press right shift and equals and gta hacks will open uh which is this one right here like an invisible weird file right there so once that's opened just go in game to whatever you bind it before the little dash key what, what i said um and just press that and easy way out does work i'm kind of late for making this tutorial i know but base is dead pc is dead the whole of the gta 5 comes dead um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this helped you a bit. But consider liking the video, I guess, if you uh, like that. But yeah, see you whenever.